Should we go watch a Bollywood movie and eat this? Hello everybody. So today we are trying foods from around the world. Today's part of the world is gonna be a little bit of India. Have you ever been to India? My husband has, says it's his favorite part of the world, which I'm like, why do we always go to the south of France and why don't we go party it up at the Taj Mahal, bro? Come on. Bro, come on! Today we're gonna try a little dosa, a little dosa, dosi do. It's like a little thin pancake or like a crepe, really consisting of a little bit of like lentils and I think something else, but I forget. Lentils and rice or lentils and... Is it rice flour? Lentils and rice, so there you go. So it looks like a little crepe, but it's gonna have a lot of flavor, I'm told. I've never tried it, because um, I've never been to India. So anybody wanna go with me? Wanna take your bag? Let's go. Okay, let's go. And this is, oh, this smells like curry. Is that even possible? Coconut, and this is not coconut, and I think you got this mixed up. What? Yogurt. It's yogurt, okay. But it has like a spice to it, so I think there's a little bit of in it. Oh, there is a little bit of in it. Ooh. You guys pranking me? I have a little dollop of that. I'm like, whew. <coughs> okay, baby, it's a little spicy. When in India, break it apart. So I'm gonna try, because I'm gonna be adventurous. It really is like, has a little kick to it. It's not as spicy as I thought it was gonna be, so hold on. It tastes like a pan, it doesn't taste like a pancake. The texture's like a pancake. Like if you took a pancake and you folded it up, that's what it tastes like. Well, this could be like breakfast. Hold on, this is breaking apart. Ooh, well that's a, an onion. And the yellow stuff must be curry. Oh, masala. Well, you learn something new every day. I thought this was masala. That's somber. Somber. Mmm, somber's, somber's good. Oh, oh, oh. To be fair, this is pretty mild for Indian food. The only Indian food I've ever had was when I was living in London. All of the places my friend Manny would take me, it was all spicy. But this, this is like a good soup. This is great. Yeah, like if you had lentil soup with a little kick in it, like a little spice. The spice just creeps up on you. Whew, I'm supposed to get on a plane tomorrow morning. Mm-hmm, it's bussin', bro. <laughs> We have a doozy for you today. Philippines. I just want to go to the Philippine Islands, okay? Looks gorgeous there. So beautiful! Yeah! Fun fact, I once booked a campaign, a jean campaign in the Philippines. I was really excited about going. And then two nights before, I was told that the owner's daughter was gonna have her boyfriend do the campaign instead. So I was basically fired. Anyways, we're gonna have a new experience in the Philippines because maybe I would have tried this. This is Dinaguan. Mm -hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong. It is like a pork stew that is made of eat for it. Pig's blood. Pork stew made of pig's blood. So I'm really putting myself out there. You know, new year, new me. Sometimes my friends say new year, same ho, but you know what, whatever. It's tomato, tomato. We're gonna try it. And I'm stalling cause I'm nervous. I'm scared. Isn't this cute that they thought to throw a little lettuce? Like, like that was gonna distract me from the pig's blood? Yeah, oh, look, a little lean. <laughs> it's like chocolate chunks. Oh, okay. Just do it! <laughs> do it. Bon appetit, monsieur. Bon appetit. You can do it! S'il vous plaît, mon ami. Okay. All right, it was a new taste that I'm not used to, which is probably pig's blood, but the pork is extremely tender. The rice is phenomenal. I'm not trying to be dramatic. I know you probably think I am, but. I can't get over it. It's not bad tasting. It's just, I think when they say pig's blood and then it's like a creamy texture, you're kind of like, and it's warm and it's dark. Okay, I'm good. It's salty, it's creamy. Here, dry off from the white rice. There you go, yes, baby, dry off. Here we go. Buddy, you're weird. The pork is bomb. Hello, hello, which translates hello into mix mix or mixy mix or miss mix or 
Yeah, girl. I would have called it a unicorn. I mean, come on, look at that color. There's some shaved ice, there's some condensed milk at the top, there's flan, there's a little bit of jelly, there's a little bit of like elf on a shelf coloring, I don't know. But let's hollow hollow. Let's. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, oh, the texture. It's just thick. It's hard. Wow. Hollow hollow. What? Oh wait, it's good! I think I need to go to the Philippines. Can I stay with one of you? Look at that jelly! This is cool. You got the shaved ice. It's like ice cream melting down. It doesn't feel like dessert. I feel like I'm having like ice chips. This is in fairy dust and I love it. This dish, as gorgeous as it is, is from Ethiopia. And it's basically a meat platter. And then you have like a little injera, which is a sour fermented flatbread. You know, flat. Like when I sing, I'm flat. This is a hands dish, according to our executive producer. Oh, it is sour. Okay. Look at this, it's like something undoubtedly, undoubtedly, undoubtedly. Doesn't look like it's something from under the sea? A little, no? Okay. Lion. Oh, that's not bad. That's spicy. Oh, it's spicy. Olympias is spicy. Mmm, the chicken's tender. It's a meat platter. No, we're not in Vegas at Magic Mike. We're here in my kitchen. So, it's a little chicken, it's a little lamb, it's a little beef. You know what I mean? Ugh. Oh, oh wow. You think it's gonna be like very like dry? Uh-uh. My least of the three meats. Least favorite, a little dry. This injera, honey, L listen, this injera can get it. It looks like a blanket. I mean, what's this? Oh, it's an egg. Oh, it's normal. Okay, I just thought, what if something pops out? It's, it must be something, it's just an egg. Mm. All right, so we're done. You're done, you're done. This is like a 12 out of a 10. I'm not even gonna lie to you like that. The flavors here are insane. It's, it's a nice, consistent, mild spice. That's in there, but the meat is tender, juicy. And this little injera, honey. Like, look how cute, it's just cute. Like, this is bussin', bussin', bussin'. <laughs> Comment below, let me know what you want to see me try next. And, you know, perhaps you'll take me to Bangladesh. And we'll try something there. Until then, love you mucho.